So I've had people for the last year and a half asking me to make this video, so you guys better watch it to the end. But yeah, let's get into the video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about crypto investing. So you guys have been asking me to make this video for the last year and a half, and now I'm going to give it to you. So we're going to talk about what I do personally, some good things you should look out for when investing in some of these meme coins, and what you should do if you find yourself in a hole that you can't get out of. Alright, so before I get into my list, let me first start by saying that I am not a financial advisor at all. I've been investing in cryptocurrency for the past three and a half years and I've been investing in stocks for the past eight years, but I have people inboxing me all the time asking me for crypto advice. This is just a list and a video to help you guys make wiser decisions when you're investing into your crypto. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so the first tip I have for you is do not invest your rent money into crypto. The second tip I have for you is to do some research on the crypto that you're about to invest in before you invest into it. So what do I mean by do your research? So a lot of people think that cryptocurrency is just digital money, which essentially it is, but it's so much more than that. Let's take the biggest coin of them all right now, Bitcoin. Why was Bitcoin created? Bitcoin was created as a way for people to send money over the internet. The digital currency was intended to provide an alternative payment system that will operate free of central control, but otherwise be used just like traditional currency. So you're probably saying, that. why does any of that matter? So I'll break it down as simply as I possibly can. The better the crypto project, the more backing it'll get. The more backing it gets, the more money it'll make. The more money it makes, the more money you'll make if you're invested in that cryptocurrency. So do your research. Even when investing in those meme coins, do your research. You see what just happened to Squid Token just last week? Do not end up like those guys. And while we're on the topic of research, that gets me into my next point, and that's get in why the coin isn't popular. The biggest thing I see killing people right now is they all let social media do your research for you. Y'all wait until Doge, Shiba, any of these other shit coins hit social media and by that time you're already in the late game and that's why you end up losing money or making very little money. Like I said in my last point, do your research, get on Reddit, get on Twitter, join some discourse, check PancakeSwap every day, check CoinMarketCap every day, see what the next Bitcoin is going to be. The guy who made a billion dollars off of Shiba Inu he took a chance because he thought it would blow up. He got in way before social media even thought about Shiba Inu, and you have to do that too. The best way to maximize your profits is to become an early adopter of these coins. Imagine 10 years ago if you had invested just a single dollar in Bitcoin when it was just 5 cents. One Bitcoin today is worth 60k. That would have netted you a profit of 1.2 million dollars off a of one dollar investment. Now don't get me wrong, if you invest in some of these coins late game, then there is still money to be made, but most of your profits and your millionaire stories and your billionaire stories are coming from early adopters of these coins, so make sure you get in early game. And for my last tip, this is just something I do personally, but I invest my interest. Let me explain. So say for instance, I have $1,000 worth of Shiba Inu. Say next week it quadruples in price and now I have $4,000, right? So what I'll do is I'll take out my initial $1,000 investment and let the interest rise or fall. My personal logic behind doing that is that if I take out my initial investment, whether my interest rises or fall, Either way, I never lose money. At that point, I can either let my interest ride the social media hype or I can take my gains and leave. Either way, I don't lose money. But that's pretty much all the tips I would give somebody if they were just new investing in crypto. If you guys have any other tips or tricks that you want to leave down in the comments below, make sure to leave them. And if you guys want, I can do an advanced video talking about crypto in more detail. But you guys got to smash that like button so I know you like this type of content. Like and subscribe because I have so many more videos coming out this month and I guarantee you don't want to miss them. See you guys in the next video. Peace.